What's going on everybody? So today we're getting the very first update of the final since its release. And with the update we're getting our very first LTM called Solo Banquet. And in this game mode you're going to be going up against 11 other players to making an even 12 players on the field. So I hope to see you guys out there fighting for that cash out, bro. Now, before the update drops, or while we wait for the update to drop, I'm just going to go over quickly with some of the patch notes I think you guys might find interesting. I'm not going to go through all of them because there's way too much to hear to list, but just the major ones I think you guys might have a little issue with, a little, you know, stuff like that. Starting off with the cloaking device, it's going to get an increased activation cost from 1 second to 2, point to two seconds. And an increase in minimum required charge time to activate from 1.5 seconds to 2.5 seconds. The grapple hooks will no longer attach to objects that are attached to carryables. So prop surfing is done for, bro. It's over with. Get that stuff out of here. It completely removed it from the game. Recon senses, bro. They, when we think they're going to remove this thing from the game, it just got a buff. So recon senses... Increased activation cost from 1 second to 1.5 seconds, and they decrease the minimum charge time to activate from 2.5 seconds to 2 seconds, bro. So it's gonna be even more OP. Um, let's see here, we have next, the flashbang is getting a cooldown and decrease from 20 seconds to 18 seconds. It's mostly nerfs, actually. RPG player damage, it gets a decrease from 150 to 140. So fingers crossed, light players or light mains, you won't be getting one-shotted by RPGs anymore. Let's hope so. They added a new scoped zoom sensitivity multiplier to the setting screen that affects the tracking dart. So those of you who use the tracking dart, please let me know in the comments below how this affects your gameplay. And the ranked tournaments, team wipe, and the wipeout respawn time will increase from 25 seconds to 26 seconds so that's for ranked gameplay and tournament gameplay styles Storables, deployable explosives such as c4 breach charges and explosive mines will now add mass to throwable objects causing them to travel less far than when thrown so you guys need to hop into that training area bro and figure out the range because uh nuking players it's not gonna be so easy now m11 recoil pattern updated to make the weapon easier to control so that's very good. That's a buff right there. They added a trail effect to the throwing knife projectiles to make it easier to see. And last up on the list, we have the V9S damage increase from 35 to 36. Not much of a buff, but it's it should be good enough. So that's just some of the things that I have for you guys today. And I'm going to be releasing some of the gameplay footage from the solo banquet in a second here, guys. Hope to see you guys out there. Peace.